Nation, we are going to start tonight with such a fun announcement. Yes, it is. Okay, so June ended, and on July, actually 11th, we did our normal commission run. But this one was a little different than one that we've ever done so far. We had so many people break their first ranks, meaning that they, three months in a row, they achieved bronze, silver, gold, platinum, platinum. all the way through. And so let's show the list of, all oh, the long list of people who, who broke a rank. Broke rank. All right. You know, that is the first time that we have seen ranks because with the improvement to our comp plan, ranks were added. So that is that is really cool to be able to see all those names. That was a lot of names. That was a lot of names. And for all your hard work, we hope you pause the video, see your name on there. We're so proud of, of the work that you've done, whether it was just the last three months when we know because of our improvements to the comp plan, that sits on a lot of people's work long before the last three months as well. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, special recognition. Let's let's just call out, shout out from here. The, the Platinums. The Platinums, our highest rank achievers. Who do Who, we have? We, we have, had Hannah Craig. Yes, uh, Steph Warner. Tammy Ward. We had Jessica Clark. Jessica Zavios. We had Julie Malilli. We had Rebecca McQuilty. Yes, are we missing anybody? I hope we got seven. Hope we got seven. <laughs> we had seven. Okay, good. That was amazing. Your platinum, the highest rank so far achieved. Yeah, you guys are you guys are doing a wonderful job. Well, since we're on the topic of achievement, should we talk let's about do top, top and rollers? rollers. Yes, let's, let's do, do it. it. This is July 18th through the 24th. Through the 24th. Yes. Okay. So second place, of course, we, we have, have a pretty tie. good tie. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so let's talk about those. We have. We have Jessica Zavios, the second place, tied Jessica. with? Shacy Ritchie. And then Jen 
Kathy, I think is how mm -hmm. you say it. And Donna Drake. And then first place with a Solex silver coin. I, I will say another Solex silver coin. Another Solex silver coin. That ah, goes to. It's not who you thought it was. It's Beck McQuilty. Beck McQuilty, congratulations Thanks. down in Australia. Congratulations. And Great thanks job. for all the training last week, by the way. I appreciate all the new words. <laughs> That's <okay>. Brecky, biscuit. <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> yes, that was really fun. If you don't know what we're talking about, please go watch last week's bloopers. Beck was on a Zoom call and she decided to teach Kai how to speak Australian slang. Yeah, and I, and I take a little offense that they were called bloopers. <laughs> I thought I did a pretty decent yeah, they're, job. They're pretty good bloopers. Even though uh, Beck was laughing at me most of the time. So congratulations to all of our top enrollers. Well done. Um, we are going to, speaking of top and rollers, our Disneyland contest is almost done. We almost have four done. days. Yeah, four days, and it really is. It's a t I've been looking at uh, these top five or six people. You look every day. Every day, and it is really close. There is no sure winner right now. We are there not isn't. sure who's coming. <laughs> but So let me, let me say this. The 31st is the last day, and when we say last day, it is the last day. We will account for who has the most active direct QLAs on their team. On, at, as of as midnight, of, July yep. 31st, Mountain Time. So what does that mean? That means if you have somebody on the first that goes and backdates, they won't be Doesn't in that, that accounting. It mm -hmm. will be all of the active by the end of this month. And so that may qualify them for the commission run and things like that. But if you're gunning for this, Make sure July your total 31st. is in by the 31st. We are excited to find out who the winners are and to announce that yep. trip. Yep. All right. Um, Day of Discovery is almost here. Yeah, we are feverishly <laughs> trying to get <laughs> ourselves are. ready. It is. I, I feel like we throw so much stress on the whole company oh, yeah. for this, but because we're so excited, because we just want to deliver the very best thing that we can. Um, and we think that we're gunning for this well, we and we're lined up for it. we keep saying this. Every time we have Dave Discovery, we say, we're so excited. You're not, you won't believe. Oh, okay, yeah. this one though, this one though. Oh, that was a good one. It's a good one. There's, yeah. there's a lot of fun announcements with oh, this one. Oh my word, there's so much. But like we said, we did the, we did the price bump in July. Yes. Uh, nominal as best we could just so we can get commitments. We're now reaching the point where we're going to cut off ticket sales. And so we're looking at August 17th will be the last, the last day. day to purchase. Day of Discovery as we make our very final preparations that following week for that event. So if you have a new recruit or you're excited about this, now's the time to get those commitments aligned. Make your way here. If you're close by, it's an easier. If you're making a long way, make it a road trip. Some people do that. People did that last year. They did. We had a lot, a lot of people road trip mm -hmm. all the way across the country to end up here. Yes. And we know Gas prices are still high, but, but they're starting to come down. We've seen a little softening. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe that, maybe that helps. Yes. But, uh, Do your hey, best to come here, but yeah, maybe maybe uh, you know with the commission this month, maybe an extra you know introducing a new person to the AOSCAN technology might make the difference. Get you to for day coming of discovery. Here. Yeah. So. So do your best to get here August 17th. Those tickets will be the last day that those tickets will be on sale. All right, let's do our contest drawing. Yeah, we have a giveaway, three people, light wave glasses. Yes, we asked you last week to go onto our YouTube uh, channel, onto our last call, and just let us know something you're looking forward to. So we had quite a few um, entries. Okay. So we're gonna do three. do three, we always do three. All right. Can we do the first one? Yes, please. Okay. All right, first one is Laura Ortega. I'm looking forward to all the new releases coming with Day of Discovery. The database will definitely help me understand some things in myself and children. I'm also excited to hear some new inner voice music and have options. Thank you for continuing to move forward and share this incredible tool. Thank you, Laura. Yes, great We're job. Lightweight glasses. Yeah. And your kids can use the lightweight glasses too. All right, I'm mixing this up a bit. Let's see, here we go. Ah, living energy therapy. All right, as usual, you need to give us your name so we know who to send this unless to. Unless that's your name unless in the back that, office. Yes, unless that's your name yeah. in the back office. Wow, so much to look forward to. I am I'm beyond excited for the dental scans when it's, when it's available and more. And I'm thrilled to go to the Day of Discovery with my dear friend for more learning and development. And finally, I'm looking forward to receiving my new license plate in the mail in the next <sighs> couple weeks Yay! well living energy therapy we can't wait to <laughs> show your license plate here That's fantastic exciting. lightweight glasses coming your way <laughs> all right 
Good, well mixed. Mildred Barlow. I'm looking forward to finishing natural health schooling at the end of next month. The scanner has been a helpful tool to help educate myself and clients on how to better help ourselves to achieve optimal health and wellness physically and emotionally. Thank you for all the efforts that have gone into this tool to make it available to everyone. That's great. Can I say that I love this group? I know. They are I so do too. passionate about learning and growing. And that, and that I totally resonate with that. Yes. That's my thing. I love it. Love you guys. Thanks for winning. <laughs> <laughs> do we have anything else we need to announce? No, well, yes. Oh. Next up, you and oh, I talk yeah, to, is fun. and Lauren talk to an actual rocket, rocket scientist. scientist. I've never talked to a, an actual <laughs> rocket scientist until this. So we're, uh, we're excited to introduce you to our, our special guest here on this call today. So hope thanks. you love it. Hello, everyone. We are here with a special guest, Alice Jorothian. Right? And you said don't talk. Okay. I'm I sorry. Talk. Well, we're here. I said don't talk. I'm giving the introduction. I just want to make sure Alice is taken care of. Alice is a special guest. She's already a friend of Solex. Lauren is down uh, in Southern California area with her right now visiting. And we thought we'd just pick up some time and, and, and pick Alice's brain for just a few minutes. Because, folks, she has a, a brain of all brains, something we all aspire to, and she'll be modest about it, but I won't, right? When I say that she's a rocket scientist, I'm not kidding you. She literally she is, is a rocket, a rocket scientist. scientist. And she's made her way through her, her fantastic career, but her passion and love for science and, and digging deep into the alternative parts of what is truth actually has driven her towards soul exit and we're so grateful for that um alice thank you so much for being with us um if you will just give us a a, a two minute I, of course i spilled the beans by calling you a rocket scientist but you're here at solex tell tell us a little bit about your background and then how you got here to solex Thank you, Kai and Shelby. It's a great honor to be talking to you. And I'm honored to be sitting here with Lauren, whose hands I was dying to shake since last year when I purchased Solex. But look, look, divine intervention. I'm sitting here with him and talking. I feel blessed that he's here. <clears throat> and I also feel honored that you've actually tried to uh, connect with me and talk to me. My love for science started when I was uh, young so and planetary exploration. So I did uh, study in uh, computer science in La Cambridge, London. And when I finished that, my family and I, we moved to the United States in 1978, at which time I decided to further progress my education. I went to advanced systems analysis and landed a job at JPL for flight operations. Now, I started with technical writing because I love to write and read, of course, at the same time. However, I remained an independent contractor working for Jet Propulsion Laboratory here in Pasadena, California for 25 years. And I managed to learn everything I can about, about planetary explorations. And my job as flight operations engineer had to be uh, maintaining the health and, and safety of the science instruments that are on the spacecraft that would eventually get us to a planet like Mars or Saturn or Jupiter. So having done that for 25 years, I kind of retired from that. Um, very well planned, obviously. And then that evolved into medicine. My husband's an allopathic doctor, but my love for medicine never stopped. So I went into self-teaching. It started with um, just basic ailments that my family goes through. You know, my son suffered through the certain ailments. And so in order for me to take care of them as a mother and to take care of my husband as a wife, I had to learn all these things so I can reach out to them. I started attending telemedicine lectures and summits and taking as many free courses <clears throat> as I can. And over a decade and more, I, I compiled so many notes that I have now over 700 documents that I can refer to that if anyone asks me any medical question, if I have the answer, I'm sharing it. If I'm not, I'll definitely find it. <laughs> <laughs> now, little by little, I went into homeopathy as well. My son is studying, younger son is studying plant medicine. So his love and my love kind of connects. 
And the homeopathy we know is all about energy. People worry when they take, say, uh, a, a remedy like opium and they wonder if there's any, uh, no, there is not a single particle or molecule left in the, because it's all about energy. The processing ends with the energy frequency, as we know with what we currently have in the scanner. So then I opened up my private Facebook group, Quantum Agape on Facebook, which I'd never done before. I created it my own and I tried to attract people who want to learn, who want to learn anything about medicine, uh, anything about um, um, alternate healing. I call myself uh, alternate healing advocate. That way I can teach you how to take care of yourself the simplest way. It's, it's not extravagant and, and not too difficult, but intelligent enough for you know for you to know how to take care of yourself and your family and your loved ones around. And sharing, sharing is the best. How does that jive, Alice? You, you obviously have a, the strength of your scientific background. Um, science is very uh, uh, proof uh, founded, Thanks. right? It, it, it sits, it resides. <laughs> if I can't see it, touch it, smell it, it doesn't Perfect. exist. Yes. Um, how how does that transition work for you or, or how do you face that how do you deal with that well if you're stuck in that world or not you as in you if a person is stuck in there and there were a lot of scientists in, in in my world who were stuck into that they'll never get advanced they'll never get ahead mm. it has to be a mind shift it has to be a mind shift i take it upon myself and I'm still living in a community where I'm having difficulty in trying to tell them what a scanner does because if this scanner is not going to heal their toothache then it's not doing anything. Right. So we have to work on that mind shift. We have to allow them to understand. And if they're not convinced, I'm not wasting my time. I'm moving on to the next person. I mean, of course, I don't own a company for me to work hard and, and trying to absorb because when I do it for free, I sleep better at night. I, if I can help one person a day, then God is watching over me. He's you know, his accounting is okay. So if you are ready to be convinced by learning, and if you love your family, then you'll hear me out. Then you'll listen and you'll get convinced. If not, then then I go for the next person. I love so, that. No, I'm not going to try hard. I'm not going to try hard. Now, Alice, tell us what brought you to Solex. <laughs> How did you find AO Scan? So my husband, my, sorry, my son and my daughter-in-law early last year went to Malibu to this very extravagant spa. And so they went and had this headphones put on their heads and they did what's called energy medicine and all that. And they came home and my, my son knows I love things like that. And he goes, mom, you got to look into this machine. And it's Hunter NLS. I go, what is it? Well, it's supposed to give you this and frequency imbalances and all that. I go, okay, well, let's see if we can buy it. Hence, that took me about two and a half months. I studied everything about Hunter NLS. I wrote down, of course, me and my Excel, we love each other, database checks and here and there, functionality and everything. But then it was like over five thousand dollars. Now through my Facebook community group, <clears throat> I was planning on taking a refresher course through a lady who also had the scanner, and I was mentioning it to her that I'm looking into Hunter, and also go, well, Alice, you might be interested in this handheld device. I go, handheld? Wait a minute. There's a five to six thousand dollar and a thirty thousand. Well, wait, when did the where did the handheld come in? So sure enough, she said, well, you know what? Let me get you a free scan. You tell me what. And I looked at that report. I go, oh my god. I'm looking at that and I'm comparing it at the same time, what Hunter NLS can, can offer. And then I started asking questions. Well, meridian channels, chakras, homeopathy and all that. She goes, it's coming, it's coming. So I guess say no more, I wanna buy it. So we became <laughs> very good friends and I bought it. And ever since then, she used to have once a month meetings. I was the one trying to train and teach what I can do on the scan. I go, when did you do this? I bought, aren't you supposed to be my upline? I goes, no, 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 you're the one now. <laughs> so that's where it started from. And, and, and it's the best thing. It's one of the best things I've done for myself and my family and can't talk enough about it. So it's a blessing. It's a blessing. But it's that's awesome. only if you know how to appreciate the technology. Right. 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 If you appreciate the technology, if you want to get better in life and not stuck, get stuck in a health issue, this is one of the means. It's in your hands. Do it. Yeah. I'm not a business person. I'm not a salesperson. I haven't sold a single scanner. Well, we, well, we need to change that. Yes. We need to I change can't. that. I can't. I can't. I, I try. <laughs> okay, so Alice, what would you say to somebody who doesn't even understand what homeopathy is? 
I would say it's plant medicine. That's where I would start from. Plant medicine. And plant medicine. But of course, it doesn't just come from plant. It comes from animals and it comes from infectious diseases as well. So when I say plant medicine, they've got, oh, okay, ginseng, ginkgo. See, they'll come up with names that they've heard of, yeah. but kind of being fearful. Fearful. That's what these people are afraid of. Fearful. Now, <clears throat> One of the best things I can explain about homeopathy is that it does not have any side effects. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have any interactions with any kind of medication that you might be on. Some might say, well, I took this remedy and I had a side effect. Well, that's not a side effect. That's because when you take a homeopath homeopathic remedy, it actually looks for the most paramount simple with the pathology solution that it tries to target first. And I will always use my husband's example. I tried to heal his plantar fasciitis in his foot. For six weeks, he took Brionia and Rustox, which is supposed to be for plantar fasciitis. Well, guess what? In six weeks, I healed his blood pressure instead of the plantar fasciitis. Now, does that mean the remedy didn't work? No, that's because the remedy found a correct pathology that it thought was more paramount to heal than the, than the, than the ankle or the foot. Obviously, blood pressure is more important. Hence the beauty of homeopathy. Wow. That is incredible. And you spoke just a, just a few minutes ago of, of this, this drive, this passion to learn and how that has led you all the way to, to Solux, the AO scan, and, and obviously far beyond. It's going to lead you as far as you are willing to go. And you obviously have a passion to go very far. One oh, yeah. of those things that Shelby mentioned was the homeopathy and that's where in your 700 documents and records, a good portion of those sit in that, that field. And that's where there has been a strength and connection um, in our development and where we want to take another aspect of the scanner that frankly, I believe is underutilized. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I, I it is. Think, and I think it's underutilized and correct me with your experience with your Facebook group and elsewhere, it's because most people just aren't aware. Don't know how to use it. They, they aren't aware well. of it and what its yeah. purpose is and then how to use it. Mm -hmm. um, how do you generally approach someone who's like, okay, Alice, homeopathy, I don't even never heard of that word before. You it's the first time I'm what? hearing it. <laughs> yeah. How do I want to experience it? How do I take the next step with you? Um, in order to take that next step? Sure. The first thing they would have to do is I would tell them, don't treat it like a drug. <clears throat> because if I tell them you are allowed to take this every five minutes for the next hour, they go, oh my God, is this gonna work? Um, is something gonna, no, it doesn't. That's how it, I try to convince them that <clears throat> whether it's plant-based or animal-based, these remedies are very, very safe to take and you can take them the key is you take them until you no longer feel that symptom or the symptom somehow subsided a certain percentage. Mm -hmm. Then you know you're on the right track. And if it stops, the symptoms go away and you stop taking it. So it's not prophylactic, unlike one remedy that you can take prophylactically during this uh, pandemic, and that's Euphatorium. That's the only prophylactic remedy that you can take prophylactically every day. Just take a sip when you make a wet dose. But with the others, you have a symptom, you take it. But you need to take it a minimum of six to eight weeks. Otherwise, you're not going to see any benefits. And that's how you can determine whether you're on the right track. Now, I'm not saying, God forbid, you have a, a big wound that you shouldn't go to the, uh, to the hospital or the urgent care because you've got the remedy here. No, you, you, you do them uh, together simultaneously. You rush to the urgent care, but at the same time, let's say you take your Arnica with you or you could take your Aconitum because I'm in shock, I'm wounded, I'm at it. <clears throat> so you give yourself time and you see if the symptoms are fading, then you're on the tri right track. If the symptoms stop, then you stop taking it. Now they start again. You go back again. Some people ask, well, why did it come back again? Well, gosh, and you know, if you're 20, 30, 50, 60 years old, don't expect things to go away in six weeks. It's going to take time for them to completely heal. So no miracles. There's no magical wand here. It's all about commitment. Oh, until you get to the right remedy. Now you and Lauren have had some time to talk before before you know zooming with us. Lauren, um, 
what have you, what has stood out to you um, in your conversation with Alice? Is there anything that you can share without giving things away that we don't want to give away? <laughs> Her infectious enthusiasm. She truly is enthusiastic about homeopathy, about the scanner and about helping people. That's it. There's no other motive here. She's genuine and she loves what she does. It's yeah. it's been wonderful this morning. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's interesting, Alice and Lauren, that that when we're driven with a passion and we have the energy, to me, that the proof in what you have said so far, at least in this little uh, few minutes of sharing, Alice, is you've taken no personal benefit other than your passion and increasing and validating your passion with people. The fact that you've sat down with somebody, carried them through a process, taught them. And they've responded at no, and let's let's be real, no financial gain in no. this scenario. <laughs> Not interested. It's more of a mission. Yeah. It's yeah. more of a mission yeah. to to yeah. achieve awareness and healing exactly. rather than. Uh, I mean, obviously, AOScan and Solix do not exist without the profitability to put into R and D and to find folks like you. But to me, your experience and your testimonial just in the last few minutes is for everybody here to say, boy, there's validity in this. Someone yeah. as brilliant yeah. as Alice is taking it to her personal context and even new folks and validating it through their experience at no gain. When you can do it with no gain, to me, that leans back on the fact that this, exactly. this, this passion is real. Exactly, exactly. And that, that that is, for me, the easiest way to convince people is when they, when they know in my experience that I am not after anything. I get DMs every day if I try to say, please make a two a day. I, can't. <laughs> I love my granddaughter. I want to spend time. But I can sit all night through the night. I spent more than, you know, past midnight going through the list uh, that you gave me. But I do it with passion. I do it with passion. And that's my means of convincing when I reach out to people on the community night answer in a long list of how to do what to do well and they privately you know dm me well can we pay for this or how am i going first of all i wouldn't even know where to start and the answer is no. <laughs> no the answer is no and that's my way of convincing but i sleep better at night that way i sleep yeah. better at well you know we started noticing you over a year ago when you were on the facebook group and you were putting your charts out there your files in the guide section for everyone to use that was all of your hard work and you you shared it with everybody and oh gosh that really stood and out you know how that started when some lady was sent, making uh spreadsheets now i have nothing against people i don't know what they go through but when you put out a spreadsheet with just copy and pasting the CEPIs and then charging for them, I go, nah, yeah, this isn't going to work for me. <laughs> and people were questioning because everybody like me was new to the scanner. They didn't understand what the CEPIs were. They didn't understand the medical terms. So I figured the best thing for me is to put in a spreadsheet. And I go, this is free. It's here in the files. And I created my own Facebook group. That way people can you know, feel comfortable to get it from there. And from then on, as the questions kept coming in, well, which, what thing should I look out for in the vitals? Uh, how do I explain this? So I create a small highlights or how you can do what to look for in the vitals. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, there are certain areas like car, uh, the, the heart, cardiology, gastroenterology, or endocrine, your hormone. Those are the things you care about to discuss, not the entire vitals report. You don't want to overwhelm people. I shared with them my summary that I share with people. I scan and tell them so that they, they don't get confused. But that's where I started. Then I started doing the Meridian playlist for people to develop their own. Then the detox phase, which people were questioning. Nobody knew what detox phase one, two, three, four were. I put it there. And, and that's I loved helping it that way. The, th the thing is that she utilizes the entire scanner. Yeah. She's not just one thing or here. She utilizes the whole thing and, and shows them how to how it's symbiotic, how you can use this and this and how to make sense out of it. Yeah. It, it's truly, it's been truly enlightening this morning to be here with Alice and to to listen to her and her experiences and to see what she's doing and has done. It's it's been wonderful. Well, Alice, uh, we cannot promise that your DMs will go down after this. <laughs> In fact, we, we anticipate them going up. So uh, we apologize in advance, but we're, we love your passion. We'd love to have you back. And, and to you, as we 
Oh, I'm sitting over there talking about homeopathy. We would love to have you back to, to share a few more uh, bits of your expertise, if you're so willing. I, I, and then maybe in closing, just a comment from you and maybe one from Lauren of where is, where is homeopathy and the scanner going? Without being too specific, where do you see it going? Where should it go? Where should it go? I want the scanner to cover every single remedy that's out there. Wow. That's yeah. a lot. That's yes. good. And there's, and there's a lot coming and there's a lot more. <laughs> you probably, Shelby, you may have seen my email of last year. I sent support. Please, please, if any changes you want to just concentrate on adding these remedies, because some of them work in combo. You see, some of them work in combination. And if they're not there, then you might be missing. And then look, <laughs> I, 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 she can't turn into a meeting over a breakfast. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. The only thing I can tell you is homeopathy is going to make a major transition this next month. And that won't be the end. So we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. All right. I love it. I well, love it too. Well, well, Alice, you are a treasure. And we just appreciate you. you taking the time to meet with Lauren and, and to meet with us. And we look thank forward to you. with you in the future. Thank you. Likewise, it's such a pleasure to be talking to you. And then and you get big hugs from me uh, here, the Armenian way, you know, the tough. <laughs> yes, <laughs> wait. I love looking it. forward to it. I love it. it. <laughs> and everybody watching. If you can avoid a DM, you know, we're trying to pace her. We're trying to keep things do, down. Do it, do it. <laughs> do it. We'll, we'll bring, and in fact, if you do have questions around homeopathy, feel free to send them into support. We'd love to field those and, and, okay. and help get some expertise out of Alice and Lauren and, and others as far as what we can do to better support and better utilize this area. And support. vice versa too, feel free. And I'll do my best. If I know the answer I'm sharing. It's Thank not you. Here. Thank you All so right, much. Thanks. Good to see you. Thanks. Take care. Big hugs. Bye-bye. <laughs>Okay, we're doing three. Okay. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye.